understanding of the appendix, uh, mm -hmm. uh, in the appendix. Going right. forward, do you think that will continue to be uh, sufficient, or do you think verification is going to remain a source of friction between the U.S. and China? And also on cap and trade, mm -hmm. uh, are you able to, were you able to assure the leaders here that you'll make this, that uh, legislative priority mm -hmm. next year? Um, with, with respect to uh, the appendix, these countries have set forth, for the first time, some very significant uh, mitigation efforts. And I want to give them credit for that. I mean, if you look at a country like India, as I said, they've got hundreds of millions of people who don't have electricity, uh, hundreds of millions of people who, by any standard, are still living in, in dire poverty. Uh, for them, even voluntarily to say, we are going to reduce carbon emissions relative to our current ways of doing business by X percent uh, is uh, an important step, and we, we applaud them for that. Um, the problem actually is not going to be verification in the sense that this international consultation and analysis mechanism will actually tell us a lot of what we need to know. And the truth is that we can actually monitor a lot of what takes place through satellite imagery and so forth. So I, I think we're going to have a pretty good sense of what countries are doing. Uh, you know, what, what I think that some people are going to legitimately ask is, well, if it's not legally binding, what prevents us from 10 years from now looking and saying, you know, everybody fell short of these goals and there's no consequences to it. Uh, uh, my response is that, A, that's why I think we should still drive towards something that is more binding than it is, but that was not achievable at this uh, conference. Uh, the point, the second point that I'd make is that uh, Kyoto was legally binding and everybody still fell short anyway. Uh, and so I think that it's important for us, uh, instead of setting up a bunch of goals that end up just being words on a page and are not met, that we get moving, everybody's taking as aggressive a set of actions as they can, that there is a sense of mutual obligation and information sharing so that people can see who's serious and who's not, uh, that uh, we strive for more binding agreements over time, uh, and that we just keep moving forward. Uh, that's been uh, the main goal that, that I tried to pursue uh, today. Uh, and, you know, I think that uh, as, as people step back, uh, uh, I guarantee you there are going to be a lot of people who immediately say, the science says you've got to do X, Y, Z. In the absence of some sort of legal enforcement, it's not going to happen. Well, we don't have international government, and even treaties, as we saw in Kyoto, are uh, only as strong as the country's commitments to participate. Uh, because of the differing views between developing countries and developed countries in terms of future obligations, uh, the most important thing I think we can do at this point, and that we began to accomplish but are not finished with, is to build some trust between the developing and the developed countries to break down some of the log jams that have to do with people looking backwards and saying, well, the, Kyoto said this, or Bali said that, or you guys need to do something, but we don't need to do something, or getting out of that mindset and moving towards a position where everybody recognizes we all have to move together. If we, if we start from that position, uh, then I think we're going to be able to make progress in the future. But this is going to be hard. Now, this is hard within countries. Uh, it's going to be even harder between countries. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, one of the things that I've uh, felt very strongly about during the course of this year is that uh, hard stuff uh, requires not paralysis, but it requires going ahead and making the best of the situation that you're in at this point and then continually trying to improve and make progress from there. Okay?